Hello everybody. I'm telling you, I really don't like not being able to edit my videos. It is so hard to say what I want to say without long stretches of silence or off tracking all over the place um, and still being able to get it out because sometimes I say the perfect lines and then something ruins the video. And <laughs> but I can't edit so I can't take the perfect lines out and then I try again and I'm tired of saying the same thing over and over again and it doesn't come out as good anymore. Oof. Anyway, I am very distracted right now and I have to go to work soon, which is part of what's distracting me. But I did want to say a little bit of an update because I was supposed to upload a video about this last week. I said I was going to and then I didn't. Um, more about my stories. Um, I had talked about some of them and I mentioned the fact that uh, I write a lot of stories that are heavily based in reality and I also mentioned that I write a lot of stories that are um, heavily based in magic and that brought on because I started <clears throat> asking people if they wanted to read one of my stories that is heavily based in magic and certain people said that they'd like to read it and they weren't the people that I was expecting to say that and that brought up the topic again about why I don't usually share my stories which is a long and complicated story and some of it is just plain anxiety and overthinking things and all the rest of that but some of it is legitimate and I mean anxiety and fear and stuff is legitimate but you know what I mean hopefully what I mean is the I mean the over exaggeration of fear is like you know some things I just have to get over that shouldn't be stopping me it does stop me and I have things to work through but whatever what I meant by the the legitimate ones um, because anxiety and fear are definitely legitimate. If you're afraid of something or if you're anxious about something, there is a reason for it. Um, a lot of it you need to work through and get over it. Some of it will never go away. You just have to work past it. What I meant to say was, getting back on topic, because this has to be short because I don't have time for anything longer. Um, what I meant to say was, what did I mean to say? What was I saying? Why I don't share my stories. I guess the thing is that there are a lot of different types of stories I like to write about and if people don't understand why I'm writing that type of story, certain certain people, uh, and I don't want to say too much more because it gets into the long complicated topic that needs to come out right otherwise I shouldn't be sharing it, um, but certain people might not understand why I write in certain things and some of it is complicated, some of it I don't know but I have a reason for everything I write. It's coming from somewhere and I can't help being attracted to the magic and I should like I really need to explain and this is why I wanted to film a video is because I really do need to explain more about what I mean by magic because there's more than one kind of magic. There's the magic that everybody knows that's just like innocent magic. It's just fake stuff. It's like you know the old school kind of magic like sword in the stone. That is innocent fun old school type of magic that everybody knows isn't real. They just like to let their imaginations run wild, right? And there's one series, Enchanted Forest Chronicles by Patricia C. Reed. Reed as in W-R-E-D-E. -E. You should go look up that because that's for young teenagers. But even as an adult, I absolutely love those books. There's like four of them, I believe. And they are there. She, she does such a good job with it. It's just so much fun to read. And it's so cool because it your imagine go, imagination just goes wild with that. And it's just so much fun to read. So you really should go look it up. That's the kind of magic more that I'm talking about. Um, there's also the type of magic that's more like Harry Potter and that kind of thing. And that is starting to get into the type of magic that, um, like, cause there's people in the real world that call themselves witches. And there's, even when you get into that, there's all different types of what people, um, like it, that whole, opens up a whole new realm of topic that I can't get into right now because it's way too complicated. But the, the, the thing is, I've said before, I am a Christian and because I'm a Christian, playing with the magical world, uh, it can get, it can get dangerous because if you start crossing certain lines, like when you start mixing the innocent magic, when you start mixing that in with the supernatural realm and start getting into the dark magic or magic that I mean, even Harry Potter people are like, stuff like that can be real and you can really do spells and do magic and stuff. 
I don't want to get into the topic about why that's... But the thing is, when I write in my stories, because I'm a Christian, there are certain lines that I can't cross. Certain lines that I maybe tell, maybe sometimes I tell them a little more than I should, and I try to not. Um, a little bit of a spoiler for my stories. If anybody ever starts reading my stories and you don't want any spoiler whatsoever, then stop, like, mute the video until I go like this at you. Um, but in my stories, because I personally do not believe in ghosts, even though I do watch ghost stories sometimes, stories that are centered on ghosts, I do watch them and I do read them sometimes. And I, I don't know why. It's, I'm attracted to the supernatural world. I can't help it. Um, so I do watch them sometimes and I can enjoy them sometimes, but I personally do not believe that ghosts exist as in like the traditional sense of ghosts as in people that have died, but their spirits are still wandering around in the world. I don't believe that that happens. And because I still strongly believe that that doesn't happen and exactly why I believe that and all that stuff opens up a whole nother topic of, uh, the Bible and spiritual beliefs and all that kind of stuff. And it's too complicated for this video, but I don't believe it. And because I so strongly don't believe it, I personally cannot put it in my books. So if you ever read one of my stories and it sounds like I'm writing a story about ghosts and stuff like that, I guarantee you I'm not because I, I, I can't put that in my stories because it goes too much against what I believe. So I can't put that in my stories. Um, but when it comes to stuff like the magic and the supernatural realm. When I say supernatural realm, I'm including things on a very wide topic. I'm talking about stuff that everybody knows isn't real, like stuff like vampires and werewolves and zombies. I absolutely hate and abhor zombies. They are disgusting looking. They are disgusting everything about them. I absolutely hate them. Never. Like The Walking Dead. Ugh. Ugh. Get it away from me. Don't even talk about zombies around me. I hate them. But, um, I'm talking about stuff like that, and I'm also talking about the other end of the scale, like the supernatural world includes angels and demons. I do believe in angels and demons. I believe both of them exist. But I also believe that they are they are creatures that people, whether you're a Christian or whether you're a non-Christian, you should not have them in your books unless you are being extremely careful. And I've talked to a lot of people about it and read the Bible, and even then... You have to be very careful about how you put angels and demons into your book. And again, that brings up a whole nother topic that I won't talk about anymore right now. But um, I personally have never found a story like there's this, this series Supernatural. I could do a whole series of videos on that series because when it first started coming out, I did enjoy it. It was varied and it was interesting. Then they brought in demons and I didn't appreciate it anymore. But I kept watching and then they brought in angels and I started getting really mad and frustrated at them. And then they started bringing in other topics that just, no, they crossed a line that absolutely is not okay. And I personally believe that any Christian who still watches that show, you need to go and talk to somebody about why you still watch it. Because honestly, as a Christian, you should not be supporting that show anymore. It is wrong. It is damaging. And that's as much as I'll say about that. Um, I can't enjoy movies and books and stuff about angels and demons because there is so much they get so wrong and it is so dangerous. It is so very dangerous. So I personally don't have stuff like that in my stories um, because I can't do it. I can't put angels and demons not that way into my stories. Um, I do um, most of my stories. There's two types of stories I have. Ones that are based on magic and when I base things on magic, I don't usually talk about God at all. Because there again, like, I don't want to get things wrong. I don't want to misrepresent things. I don't want to get people confused about it. So for me, it's easier to just write the story from a magical viewpoint and there's the magic and that's the innocent thing about it and just go with that. Go with your imagination. Pretend it's a dream kind of thing. Like, more like that. And then there's the ones that are based in reality and those ones... Most of them, somebody in the story ends up being a Christian. But whether I actually really talk about God in the story or whether I just mention the fact that this character is a Christian and believes in God varies from story to story. Um, one of my stories that I wrote that 
deals the most heavily with Christianity is called Broken Tears. And that one I'd be more than happy to share with anybody under the sun that wants to read it. Like, I, I would be very happy to share about it because um, I personally love the characters in that story. Trinder is one of my favorite favorite characters that I have ever written in my life. That whole story is based on um, they're a band, a musician band that's just trying to get off their feet. But they're like, <clears throat> um, they're they're a non Christian band. But one like Trinder's in that in that group, and so is his best friend Aston, I believe his name is. And they, Trinder is dealing with something that nobody realizes he's dealing with. And one of the main characters in that story, aside from Trinder and Aston, the other main character in that story, she's a Christian girl from a Christian family, a big family. So it's, it's, when I wrote her, I was actually thinking a lot about my best friend because she, she reminds me of my best friend and her family reminds me of her best, my best friend and all that stuff. So, um, but I absolutely love that story and would be willing to share it with anybody, even though it needs a lot of editing. It could use a lot of filling out because I wrote it many, many years ago. And it kind of sort of feels like like it's a first draft, basically. It's kind of a little bit of a skeletal and it could be way deeper, or like way fuller. And I would love to fill it out. Um, but I haven't made it back to that story yet. So it's not filled out yet. But I'd still be willing to share it with anybody that wants to read it um, because I love that story. And then but that one that is probably the most heavily Christian based story that I have ever written before. A lot of my stories tend to fall more into the middle of it, like I mentioned, separate ways. That one, there are parts of that story that are supposed to get very based on Christianity because some of the characters in that story are Christians. And within that story, I have some that are have been Christian for years and years and years. I have some that have been Christians for a couple of years. I have some that are starting to question what Christianity is. And I have ones that are completely 100% against Christianity and they have various reasons why. And the whole point of that one is to kind of explore why people would be against Christianity, why they want Christianity. And it's just, there's, there's a lot in that book. It's a very big book. And if I ever manage to finish it with all the characters and all the things they're going through, I would need a lot of help to make it accurate. Um, because for instance, one of the characters in there has, um, has a drug problem. He sells drugs and he's also had, he's used drugs before. And I did research before about drugs, but there's probably a lot more I could, because you know, like symptoms and signs and what, what, what people are like when they're dealing with stuff like this. And like another character who self harms a lot, but he has particular reasons why. And even though he's, um, attempted suicide a few times, he, Spoiler alert, he doesn't really want to die, but it, yeah, it, it gets into a lot of really heavy topics. And one of those heavy topics is Christianity. So there's that kind of thing as well that are in um, some of my stories. And then there's other ones like one called um, Someone Else's Opinion, which I need to talk about <laughs> way more in depth. I want to make a whole different video for that one because, uh, yeah, but in that one, there's some Christians and, but they really aren't. You, it barely talks about Christianity at all in that book. It's just kind of more, at least so far, I did mean to bring it more into it, but at least so far, they mo mostly just mentioned that they've read the Bible and a few of the characters I said, they are Christians, but they don't really talk about it because the topic doesn't really come up. And then there's the one character, the main character, Tio, he's read the Bible um, several times and he's done a lot of research into it. And he personally believes every single word that's in it. Um, but he isn't a Christian and he's got specific reasons that haven't been mentioned in the book why he won't why he won't be a Christian at least not right now and he does have reasons but they haven't come up in the book so there's also that that I do a lot and there's I could go more into why but in this video right now it's already I didn't realize it was already 14 minutes so I won't go into exactly why necessarily that's the way I handle things in my books but um it, it's the way I kind of handle it and then yeah my other books, um, the ones that deal with magic, like I said, um, if there's just a tiny bit of magic in there, I might, but usually if there's any kind of magic at all, I just don't really talk about Christianity. I don't really talk about God either way. I don't talk about like, not just not about God. I don't talk about any religion whatsoever. I don't talk about any gods or religions or, um, supernatural worlds in that sense, like the angels and demons and gods and stuff like that. Obviously when I talk about magic, they're usually some kind of, um, 
like, yeah, I was writing a story. I haven't managed to finish it or anything, but I did write a story that was based on vampires and stuff like that. Never did manage to finish it, but most of the time when I write stories with magic, it's more to do with, like, people that you can't, not everybody can see them, or it's very elemental-based. Um, one series that I was writing a long time ago that, like, it's a long time ago and I've never managed to finish it, and it's big, big, big complex stories called Stolen Treasures. And uh, the characters in that one, it's all element based. They are, um, they're called elements because they are literally the elements. And that's their type of magic. It's literally the elements. And um, so <laughs> I love stories about like magic and stuff like that. And the whole, uh, one of the stories that I want to publish one day is called The King of Duvesta. And it's only one type of magic that's in there pretty much. And that's one story where I talk a little bit about what the magic is, but there's actually a lot that I don't really explain it, and I do that on purpose. And I don't want to give you a lot of spoilers about that one, um, because it's one that I want to publish and I want people to read for themselves. But it is a story that I wrote. It pretty much wrote itself. A lot of it just came out, and the amount of detail, the amount of description, and all that kind of stuff that I managed to put in it, and the uniqueness of all the characters that are in it, that's pretty much why I love that one so much. And the fun trivia that I was going to mention about that one is that uh, the first part of the book, um, before Donovan is one of the main characters in that book, and before he comes into that story, everything that happens before you hear the name Donovan, pretty much, that all literally came from a dream. Like, 98% of that is literally the word for word, my dream. <laughs> <laughs> which I, <laughs> I can't believe that it, that a whole like 60 something thousand I think was it up to 60,000 words book came from a dream and no believe me it's nothing like Twilight absolutely nothing like Twilight <laughs> anyway now this video is like 17 minutes long which wasn't what I was expecting to do and now it is 3.07 p.m. and I'm gonna be late for work if I don't go so thank you for clicking on this video I don't really know what it sounds like so I don't know if I should upload it without watching it but I don't have time to up or I don't have time to watch it so if I'm gonna upload it and share it so people can hear it today rather than like late at night then I better upload it and before I get a chance to review it so but yeah that's what that is so there's another little peek there's a little bit about what kind of stories I write the three different types of stories that I write and it's a tiny tiny peek about why I do and why I don't write about certain topics you can see why it is the whole realm of all kinds of stuff and I really did mean to talk more about King of Duvasa I would love to talk more about it but at the same time like that's another reason why I can only give you a tip of an iceberg about them because I don't want to give you a bunch of spoilers about it I really don't want to give you a bunch of spoilers about it because it's it's so like you just gotta read it. You gotta enjoy it for what it is before I talk too much and give you away too much. So there's a quick 18 minute video about stuff. So thank you for watching and uh, leave your opinions, leave, leave your, your, your thoughts about what I was saying about down below. And if you're an author or other things that you won't talk about in your books, is there a reason why you won't talk about them? Is there certain topics that you feel yourself coming back to all the time? Why is that? I have certain topics I come to a lot, and I'm not sure why, and I mentioned that in the other video. So, what do you like as an author if you're an author, and why do you think you're like that? And Yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!